Hi everyone, I'm Taylor with MF Fire. I can't think of a fire more common than a candle. We use them every day for light or decoration, in churches or on cakes, but have you ever stopped to think about what goes on inside of a candle flame? Well, the 19th century scientist Michael Faraday did, and he said that there's no better door to understanding natural philosophy or science than by studying the physical phenomena of a candle. In other words, we can learn a lot about fire science by looking inside a little candle flame. To understand why, we need to know about something called the fire triangle. The three sides of the fire triangle represent the three things that you need to sustain a fire. Oxygen, fuel, and heat. The three sides of a fire triangle are a bit like the three legs of a stool. If you have all three of them, the fire sustains itself and keeps burning. But if you remove one, the stool falls over and the fire goes out. So where do the oxygen, fuel, and heat come from in a candle flame? Well, the oxygen is the easiest. It's in the air all around the fire. The air we breathe is made of about 21% oxygen. And fires can keep burning in air with as low as 12% oxygen. How about the fuel? Well, when we light a candle, we hold the fire to the wick. But the wick isn't actually what burns. What's actually burning is the candle wax. So how does that happen? Well, the solid candle wax is heated up and melted by the flame. And it changes phase from a solid into a liquid. That's the little puddle in the middle of the candle. The liquid is then drawn up the wick, or wicked up the wick, if you want to be technical. When it gets to the top of the wick, the wax changes phase again, this time from a liquid into a gas. This wax vapor expands, moves away from the wick, and begins to mix with the oxygen in the air. When the fuel and the oxygen are perfectly mixed, and they meet with the heat from the flame, they react. This reaction produces more heat, which vaporizes more wax, and keeps the flame going. So what's inside of our candle flame? According to our theory, it'll look like, well, nothing. There's oxygen on the outside of the candle flame, and there's our wax vapor on the inside. And the only place we see a candle flame is a thin ring where the two meet. But how can we look inside of our candle flame? To understand, we have to think about our fire triangle. It's very hard to remove the fuel or oxygen from just a part of the candle flame, but we can remove the heat with this thin metal screen. This thin metal screen is transparent, but very conductive. If we insert it into the candle flame, the fire won't be able to continue past the screen, and we should be able to look down inside of the candle. If we hold the screen in the middle of the candle and look down inside, we see a cross section of our candle flame. In the middle, we have the wick, surrounded by our wax vapor fuel. On the outside, we have all the oxygen in the air. In this small little glowing region, all three sides of our fire triangle are present. Fuel, oxygen, and heat. And only there is where we find our flame. If you'd like to learn more about fire, or see what we do at MF Fire, head on over to our website at mffire.com. For more fire videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel or like us on Facebook. I'm Taylor. Stay warm.